Strange explosions in vibrant blue colors are popping up around the universe and keeping astronomers intrigued. This rare and incredibly powerful event has a fancy name – Luminous Fast Blue Optical Transient. Hmm. This phenomenon doesn't behave like anything else we know of. And things got even stranger when the most recent one happened in a spot it shouldn't have. To really understand what happened last year, we need to go back a bit. This type of strange explosion was spotted first in June 2018. The blue blast happened about 200 million light-years from Earth and got the nickname the cow. No, this happening didn't resemble a cow at all, but it did have an unusual format. Back then, this blast was the most asymmetrical explosion ever seen by astronomers. It burst into space in a flattened pancake-like shape, not in a typical sphere as they would expect. This phenomenon was similar to a supernova, which is the most common type of cosmic explosion that happens when a star exhausts its nuclear fuel and collapses under its own gravity. However, scientists also noted three crucial differences. Number 1. This phenomenon is more powerful than a typical supernova. When it happens, the blue burst emits more energy than an entire galaxy of hundreds of billions of stars like the Sun. Number 2. It's much faster. The explosion reaches its peak brightness and fades away within a matter of days, while a supernova can take weeks or even months to completely dissipate. And the last difference, these blue bursts can also be much, much brighter. These mysterious objects are considered the brightest known optical phenomenon in the universe. But unlike a regular supernova, it's believed that there are no radioactive elements to power this brightness. So that means the power must come from somewhere else. The question is, from where? This is just one of the mysteries that the scientists are trying to figure out. There have been some heavy investigations since the event was first observed, and 15 telescopes around the world are constantly looking for it. Since 2018, these extreme explosions have been spotted about once a year. So while they're rare, they're not incredibly uncommon. There are several possible explanations for the existence of these fast optical transients. Perhaps the most acceptable one is that it is a stellar corpse. I mean, what is left behind when a star calls it quits. So we're looking at two prime suspects here. They could be a neutron star or a black hole, producing emissions close to the speed of light. The theory goes like this. There is a massive star much larger than those that produce regular supernovas. Then it starts to collapse. Such an event would certainly be expected to leave a black hole behind. Let's say this massive star isn't ready to leave the universe in a quiet way. Instead, it creates a swirling disk around the black hole composed of gas, dust, and other matter, like it matters. <laughs> this disk, called the accretion disk, can shoot out streams of material at incredibly high speeds, almost like powerful cosmic jets. And that could be exactly what we see as those sudden bursts of light. Again, it's just a theory. What exactly sets off these blasts remains a mystery, and much more observation and analysis are needed. Experts believe that explaining such an oddity is a scientific gold mine. After all, we're talking about a stellar corpse that isn't just sitting there, it's actually quite active. Now, since this event was first spotted, all similar occurrences that our telescopes have captured happen in the same place. I mean, the explosions always occurred in the spiral arms of different galaxies. But last year, things changed. The Hubble Space Telescope left scientists speechless in April 2023, when its images caught this same type of weird explosion happening for the first time in the middle of nowhere. Well, it didn't happen inside a galaxy, as it was supposed to. It happened in the space between two of them. More precisely, about 50,000 light-years from a large spiral galaxy and about 15,000 light-years from a small one. This event is known today as the Finch. Oh great, so when we finally get closer to finding some answers, the unusual location of the Finch phenomenon came to mess it up again. 
So maybe there is another explanation for it. Speculation began soon after the discovery. One idea is that it could have been a collision between two neutron stars traveling far outside their host galaxies. These two could have been spiraling toward each other for billions of years, and when they collided, they produced a flare over 100 times brighter than a normal supernova. For this hypothesis to be correct, one of these neutron stars would have to be highly magnetized, amplifying the explosion. Another possibility is that the explosion was a star being torn apart by a black hole with a mass between 100 and 1,000 times that of the Sun. Although we still have lots of questions, one thing is for sure. The Finch is a luminous, fast black optical transient. Except for the weird location where it happened, it has all the other characteristics to be classified as one. It's super bright, like me, and super fast, and its origin is super hard to explain. Plus, the data from the Gemini South Telescope, the Chandra X-ray Telescope, and the Very Large Array Radio Telescope have confirmed it. Adding this latest information only makes it harder and harder for researchers to finally find some kind of pattern in this whole event. The Finch isn't the only peculiar event in this category. Let's head back to the year before, to 2022. A blue explosion was spotted in September, and it got the nickname of Tasmanian Devil. Just like the previous ones, this blue burst came up and disappeared very quickly. Then, something mysterious happened. Exactly 100 days later, observers who were still tracking the phenomenon got an early Christmas gift. They observed another flare-up, and it was as bright and fascinating as the original one. Wait, so we're talking about two similar and strange explosions that happened at the same spot and close in time? Well, this was a first. Quickly, 13 telescopes around the globe all had eyes turned toward the Tasmanian Devil event, including one equipped with a high-speed camera. Over the course of 120 days, they managed to capture another 14 irregular light pulses. This was certainly amazing, because it proved that instead of showing up once and fading away as expected, the Tasmanian Devil continued to explode with supernova-like energies again and again and again. Can you imagine such power? This scenario still intrigues the scientific community because it pushes the limits of physics. Not only because such extreme energy production, but also because of the short-duration bursts. By the way, its flares last from 10 minutes to about 4 hours. Believe me, on the scale of the universe, that's considered super, super quick. This was the only time that an extended season of this event was observed. However, after some thought, the scientific community split their opinions about it. On one hand, the Tasmanian Devil could have been an utterly unique and one-of-a-kind event. On the other hand, maybe it was just the first time that our telescopes caught it from a more face-on angle. To further understand what's happening, Scientists still need to observe larger samples of the phenomenon. All hopes are in the upcoming Vera C. Rubin Observatory, which is currently being constructed in Chile. It will have a 27.5-foot-wide telescope, coupled with the world's largest digital camera ever fabricated for this purpose. According to NASA, this technology might finally give us some answers about these blue explosions. We can expect some exciting times ahead as this could be the start of a new chapter in our understanding of stellar evolution. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.